But let us get on with the job, sure in our mind, sound in our heart, and certain that this nation has built on solid human foundations, foundations that will support the continuing construction of the great American dream. Thank you so much, Governor, and we're proud to call you a legionnaire. the Longview Kelsey Junior Drown and Eagle Corps. We appreciate their representation. Potential emergency. I clearly recognize that many of our citizens are deeply concerned about the rumors that run rampant about the number of young people that are coming to our city. It is hoped that the number will be very minimal and all will come in peace to visit and freely and orderly express their political feelings. I am certain that all of us, from the President down, are working towards a speedy and honorable solution in Asia and that all of our fighting men and women can be returned to their homes at an early date. I am certain that there are differences of opinions as to how this can best be achieved among all of our citizens including the college age, the general public, and the legionnaires themselves. We must keep dialogue open and search for reasonable and honorable solutions to this and other serious problems that plague our nation. I further realize that some of our citizens are definitely opposed to making any park facility available to these young people who are coming to this area. It is my considered judgment that there must be such a place available if we are to avoid dispersion of large numbers of young people throughout the downtown core area where there are inadequate facilities and space and where there is a great danger of physical confrontation and violence and even destruction of property. In making available such a facility, we know it does not guarantee that there will not be illegal activities or even violence. But like Vortex One at MacIver Park, provided by the governor, it does provide a relief valve and a location where those that desire can gather, hold workshops, debate, and fraternize. May I remind you that an act of violence towards any one of these visitors could be the spark that sets off a chain reaction that I do not want to see happen to the city that I love. 
I would expect young visitors and the members of the Legion to also refrain from any such acts or confrontation. I plead with the people of Portland, refrain from any show of hostility. Use your power of persuasion when necessary on strangers and residents alike to keep it cool. Nothing will be gained by exciting hostility or by fanning the flames of antagonism. You may not agree with the lack of... California. shall continue to fight on behalf of Vietnam veterans' rights and benefits. We appreciate in the American Legion the dedicated service and contributions of the men and women in the Veterans Administration to this program. By the same token, we must ensure that the wounded and disabled veterans returning receive the very best of medical care and the very best of hospitalization second to none.
This is addressed to the mayor and the... We're talking about nice use with... I'm talking about all of it. Oh, I don't think not. I think that the uh, day use, this is the normal use of park. And so the committee agreed upon where Washington Park for during the day, during the week of August 28th through September 3rd, that we were talking... What will this mean? Well, let me say this. First of all, the Jamboree does not intend to physically confront the American Legion. We've said this all along. To us. We have initiated meetings, we have made calls, we have written letters, we've done everything. As beaches out there where they can swim, you've got a big open area. And if you're going to have 20 or 30,000 people out there, you should have a big open area. I think young people would want to be out in a great big open area rather than to jammed into Lair Hill Park and uh, 20, 30,000 of them into a you, down blow. It, it, you just young don't people are coming here to voice very strong objections to President Nixon and to the American Legion when they march for military victory in Vietnam. Well, that's fine. This is our primary, this yeah, is our fine. purpose. And to do this, if they want to come down and have their parades to do that, that's fine. But you've got to have some place with that many people to uh, get them out of the area where they can people sleep. In 400,000 people assembled on a 160-acre site in Woodstock. We don't expect that. We can't accept the, we, yeah, it's going to be uncomfortable. But the war is much more uncomfortable to us. We're going to try and stop the war. Jamboree to remain fully in control of what happens during that time. We do not have enough time to respond to take care of the needs of the people. Thank you. Thank you. Doesn't appear to be a second. Well, we can always get at the moment. And Dr. Donnelly's of the opinion, and I'll ask him to testify after I make my motion. Suggestion that they're, willing, they're prepared facilities of their underground press to discourage people from coming here at that time. I believe if there are any political. Go to this park. No, you can't go to that park. No, you can't go anywhere. But if they are here, even though we may feel very strongly that they shouldn't be here, as a matter of fact, they are.
Based on the instructions from the governor's office, the absolute minimum in force will be used in every situation. The determination of the type of force will be made by experienced people such as General Baum, uh, people from the state police, the city police, and so on, on each situation as it develops. has been said about the possibilities of a confrontation between young people and the American Legionnaires. No one appears to be certain if that trouble will occur. The city and the state are both well prepared if that trouble should occur. But at least by talking to people here at Delta Park, it looks as though all the worrying may have been for nothing. I think a lot of people are just down here for the music. Music and getting it together, you know, some place to do something in the summer. I know I'm here for that. Why'd you come up? Hear some music. How about you? Same thing. I heard it was going to be big, so we came up. Are you concerned about the Legion Convention being here? No, we didn't even know they were here until we got up here. How about you? No, I don't even care. If it's going to happen, I won't do nothing with it. You know, let them do it. You know, a confrontation would just be a violent thing. What do you think most people came up uh, to Portland for? To be with the people and have fun. Do you think any of them came to confront the Legionnaires? Some of them did. How about the majority? Not the majority. They just came to have fun. You seen very many people on the way up to Portland? A lot, a lot of people. Quite a lot. <laughs> I thought maybe there'd be a million people, you know. <laughs> I hope there'd be a million people. What do you think about the Legion Convention? I don't care. They can do their thing as long as we do ours. I don't really care. Either. Listen to the music and have a good time. Did you come up to? Uh, what do you think about the Legion Convention? Well, I don't. I don't really know too much about it, but I don't know. I read like a pamphlet on it and. Sounds like all they want to do is cause trouble mostly. And I didn't come up for that because if there's any trouble, I'm just going to jam. Are you interested in the Legion Convention? No. What are you interested in? Having fun. Think about the American Legion Convention. I don't know anything about it. I just heard there's a festival, so I came. It doesn't look like anything happening, though. Are you interested in the Legion Convention? No, I'm interested in the music. How about you? Are you inter interested in the American Legion Convention? Oh, damn American Legion. <laughs> what do you think about the Legion Convention? Um, I didn't know there was one. How about you? I didn't really know there was one anyways, and I didn't really care. <laughs> what did you come to Portland for? Uh, to come to see the Fox and then to go to Sky River. What did you think of uh, Tom McCall's address to the people of the state? Well, I think it was uh, a threat is what I think it was. He threatened all the young people with uh, National Guard, policemen, state troopers, and everything like that, see. He's trying to say, I don't know if, you know, he's trying to say that uh, if anything does happen, it's going to be the hippies and yippies' fault. I mean, you know, as far as I'm concerned, uh, the American Legion, they have been having their conventions here, you know, and the and way I've seen it, they've always draws some kind of uproar, you know, you know, getting drunk, running around, you know, stuff like that, you know. Do you think it's necessary to take all the precautions that, uh, that have been taken? I think it's overreacting.
really had quite a bit of business. Every time we came by, there were people stacked up. What did you think of Vortex One? I think it was great. Why is that? I, uh, I think because it sort of gave me insight on the hippies. I think they're great people. The true hippies are so. Um, we had them do things. For, we didn't have them do anything for us. They did things for us without asking. They came up and they cleaned the parking lot up for us. Um, they came up and worked, filled gas when my husband wasn't here because we didn't have time. They were great. Of course, business must have been pretty good at the yep. same time. Yes, it was. It was real good. What about all the fears of some of the residents around MacGyver Park? Did you ever see any of that materialize? They, they were a little upset that at, hippies were on their way. When they were on their way, but once they got here and found out everything was all right, um, uh, they, I think, I think that uh, they thought it was okay. I know they did. In fact, it was it's kind of funny because a lot of the people that complained about uh, the hippies coming went down to the park when they were there and would sit around at night and talk to them and really found out what they were like. You say you gained some insight into, into, into the culture. What, what, what kind of things did you learn? Uh, for one thing, I think we could learn a lot from them, uh, such as living. You know, we all live in such a rat race. Just work, work, work all the time, and uh, you have to enjoy yourselves, and they do. I don't, I don't believe in the drugs. Basically, it was just misuse of drugs. Is that, is that, is that what, basically what you're opposed to? Uh, I'm, I'm opposed to the over, over uh, yes, the misuse of drugs and also the nudity, which I don't think is, is in our parks is a place for anything like this. I think this is a, a private thing. I don't think that you have to subject your children to this uh, or your uh, wife, your families. I, I think this is all wrong. I understand you're opposed to the what you believe was a double standard set up by the governor. Right, I feel that the people that uh, live in the area and from all over the state uh, do, a, there's a great appeal at MacIver Park for overnight camping and, and a lot of this has been expressed and then the hippies can come and use it and then now it's going to be closed to overnight camping again. And all the other regulations were broken. Uh, Yet there was a, Governor McCall said that this was an emergency situation. Uh, Right, but they shouldn't. They shouldn't use uh, taxpayers' money for uh, for this particular thing. Maybe they could set it up somewhere else for themselves or on their own uh, efforts. What do you think? What do you think could have been done? 